Some of the toughest decisions that any person planning a new house faces are which color to paint the walls, what couches will fit them, and deciding if the color of the kitchen surface needs to match the color of the fridge. Or, is it perhaps better to choose contrasting colors? A moment before you select the colors for your walls, work surfaces or couches for your new home, we asked designer Lara Strenfeld, who for the past 20 years has specialized in the interior design of private homes, apartments and penthouses, to share what is important to know. 1. According to Lara, if there is a non-neutral color that you especially like, it is important to ensure that it doesn't completely take over the entire apartment. It is fine to incorporate a purple couch or to paint a wall orange, but you need to be mindful that the color won't be too dominant. 2. Once you have chosen a color scheme, it is best to repeat it in different areas of the house, whether in the textiles or on one of the walls. If you are hesitant of unusual color combinations, Leona recommends that you keep to the same scheme, since it is harder to make mistakes that way. For example, shades of light blue, blue and purple enable you to stay in a relatively safe space. In any case, it is best to be cautious when combining opposing colors, these type of combinations, like green and Christmas red, may be exciting at first, but they are difficult to live with in the long run. 3. Similar to the process of designing and planning the entire house, when choosing colors, it is best not to plan rooms that are for show only, such as an all-white living room. Aside from the lack of functionality, the result is always alienating. In such cases it is preferable to introduce a personal touch by adding a dash of color to the curtains, pillows or by adding pieces of art, that create an inviting and approachable atmosphere. For in the children's room you can go wild with bolder colors. Children love to hop from one thing to another and this energies is them. It is always nice to give them a wall that they can paint on and then erase a memory paint, without the limitations of paper. 5. Most importantly, don't be afraid and trust the architect or designer that you are working with. Most people are afraid to use color and there is no logical explanation for this. 